Welcome back to Tuesdays with Pudding Head. This is another game with London Mulling and another Dark Tari Bear Beastmaster mirror match. Let us see how this one goes. Again, I'm in the upper left playing purple, and he's in the lower right playing green. And I'm guessing that he's going to run forward and place a layer down, and I'm going to run forward and place a layer down, and we're going to keep going from there. Get my first quick cast as well. Put my layer there this time. Just stay far away from me. Uh, and he's probably going to harmonize. Hmm. I wonder if I put mine in the corner. Nah. I'm just going to run to the middle. And do this. And, oops. And do this. Alright, so we both know exactly what the other person is going to do, so I guess we'll see how this goes. Let's see if he can accurately defend against my onslaught here. I'm going to layer in the round. Right, I'm going to deploy me a Timberwolf instead of a Falcon, instead of a Snake this time. Just gonna get the big creatures out first. And he's gonna do the Sosuruku again. So I'm gonna figure out Sosuruku. Sosuruku. I'm adding an extra syllable in there. All right. Um, first quick cast. I'm not gonna quick. Rouse the beast. I don't know if I really agree with this play. Um, I suppose he can take my actions away. I'm going to go down here and do this and do this. He's going to try and hit me. Yep. And the taunt's okay. Alright, two damage. That's fine. No taunt. I know we've got arc lightnings in there. Moving guard. Okay. Fascinating. Uh, the round. All right, deployment. No deploy from him again for the second round. I'm going to play snake. Let's see if he hates snakes still. And if he's going to arc lightning me. No nope. bow. Ooh, nice. All right, so he's doing the whole bow thing. Um, I'm going to quick. Well, I'm going to shoot me right away, huh? Interesting. Well, there's a good roll. Max damage. Okay, that's what it's gonna be like. So I'm definitely gonna put the regrowth on. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna do. 
to these. Sorry, anyway. And yeah, I'll reveal Hawkeye. Killed him. Nice. Alright, we're just guys gonna move here. And I'm gonna move here. And cast a gem on myself because I'm Enchanter's Ring. Woohoo! Get rid of Surging Wave and. Just so it automates. In the red. We are done with planning and deploy my deploy first. I'm deploying a Falcon out of the dock here. And I have Brace Yourself and Badger Frenzy for my one remaining mana. Alright, yeah, just a little dodgy guy. Okay, he's a pest though, so that's good. Um, first quick cast for me. No, I'm not gonna first quick cast. Or the beast or lesser teleport? For me, I would lesser teleport. My creature actions. I can't badger frenzy my wolf. I totally forgot about that. So I'm gonna come in here. Attack. With the wolf. Eh, too quick. That's fine. Then I'll put another enchantment on myself. And be done. Just in case I get aroused to ferret or teleport with a bow. Dispel regrowth. Nice. Good choice. Too bad I've got another one. So we're in a tech spell. Ooh. I wonder what that is. Six. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I don't know what that is. What if it's a bit feeble? I kind of want to throw my boomerang at the Jukhtari now. Oh, it's so dangerous. Still effective. And end of the round. Right, here we go. Nobody's deploying from the layers this turn. Let's see if he quick casts. I have been ghoul routed, in case you didn't notice. So not only was my regrowth dispelled, but I got ghoul rotted on top of it. Seeking dispel to brace yourself. Alright, it's fine. Um I think 
I'm not going to quick cast either. I've got regrowth and dispel on me to start regenerating my stuff. And if he doesn't move, he's going to take some serious damage. Try and taunt my Beastmaster. Yeah. No taunt. But three damage. Oof. I'm dangerously low right now. This guy's gonna. F well, yeah. We might as well use him. There we go. Got some damage on. Now he can shoot the wolf or he can shoot the falcon. Or he can try and run away. We'll see. Yeah, he was waiting for me to quick cast. My bad. Lightning the snake. Nope, it's only got two mana. Oh, he's gonna get rid of my enchanters. Wow. <laughs> All right. And he's gonna get out of range of the wolf, which makes sense. This. See if we get weak. Hey, we got the weak. Nice. Gonna move in here. Gonna move up here and. Oh, gotta get myself arranged. Attack that. All of a sudden, we are way more even than he wanted to be. And then I'm going to dispel the cool rot. End of the round. We are back. I'm going to use eight of my mana this turn. 
So we could get another falcon out, but I guess... Yeah, get another falcon out, that's fine. Alright. More falcons. Alright, so he's got three mana left. Means he's not going to do horrible, horrible things to me. Um, first quick cast. I'm going to do this. Get some armor on. Maybe this is a rust. Ooh, lesser teleport. Nice. So he's going to be able to shoot this turn. Or run. He's planning to run, I'm pretty sure. What if we just chase him with a dire wolf? Let's do that. Dire wolf, timber wolf. Chase him with a timber wolf. Ugh, because the timber wolf sucks. Alright, he's going to have to attack with a ferret to try and lock down my mage. So I can go over and weak him with the snake. If my mage gets locked down here. Oh, no taunt still. Hmm, that's bad for him. Alright, my mage is not locked down, so I'm going to come in here. Actually. Let's see. It's got piercing one. No animal has damaged me, so I think maybe I'll just go for the weak chance here. Because that's a pest in my corner, so I can hang, catch up to him and throw a boomerang. Nope, no weak. Alright, that's fine. We might shoot the falcon. But he might just run away. He's gonna shoot the falcon. That's fine. Oof. Bad rolls. Right, the falcon's gonna come in and attack. One damage. And then my mage. Hmm. My mage should stay here. So I don't really want to get attacked by a dark wolf right now. I can lesser teleport myself next turn. I'll we'll see how it goes. Oops. Gotta put my range on first. Here we go. Straight at edge. Boomerang is incredible. Alright. End of the round. Alright. Uh, I'm going to skip deploy. I faked a deploy there. I have 11 mana, so I'm going to try the Wall of Thorns Force Push right now since he has zero armor on. I'm guessing he's going to. Yep, slam me. Trying to learn the ways of the octagon. Oh man, that sucks. That sucks a lot. damage on a boulder. 
good night. No, I do have I do have some armor on now. So I wasn't gonna do full damage. Uh, I'm not gonna quick cast, I don't think. Shoots the Thunder Rift Falcon. Alright. Alright. Oof, dead bird. Dead bird is dead. This is good because this means that I can guard with the wolf. damage, 8 damage, oh, that was a lesson in, oh my gosh, 12 damage, <laughs> it's 14 damage with a stupid wall, oh, this is dumb. I like the curses. I have a Jaktari book that does that. Um, armor is pretty good. Yep, there's another fast and quick game with London Mulling. Um, uh, I think he's getting better at playing the game. I really like the fact that uh, he uh, dispelled the regrowth right away. I think we're getting better. Um, I still don't like the harmonized, harmonized layer. Um, now, granted, my book is not about killing spawn points. It's about outspawning spawn points and killing creatures. Um, but, I don't know. In the end, I don't like harmonizing the spawn point because, especially one that can just cast creatures and doesn't need the extra channeling in order to cast creatures. Um, because it just makes it that much more of an investment that if they get rid of it, you're you're out a lot of mana. So anyway, thanks for watching. Tuesdays with Putin. See y'all.